Could a mountain lion help protect its environment against climate change? I'm Dan Riskin. As the world heats up, it's not the change in average temperatures that causes problems, it's the extremes. In 2021, we saw BC hammered by two perfect examples of this. An atmospheric river that flooded the Fraser Valley and a heat wave that burnt Lytton, BC to the ground. They were short events, just a few days each, but they had massive impacts. And those communities are still dealing with the aftermath. Well, in nature, it's the extremes that cause problems too. Take a river, for example. A heat wave might only last a day or two, but it might kill off certain kinds of fish or algae, and that would lead to long-term changes in the community itself. But a new study shows an unlikely source of strength for those ecosystems, predators. In an elaborate experiment, researchers took water from a Japanese stream and diverted it through a bunch of experimental tanks. Then they heated up some of those tanks to mimic heat waves. But before those heat waves hit, the researchers put predators into some tanks and not others. And the predator was a small fish called a sculpin. Well, the tanks that experienced heat waves saw changes. The number of species of algae and invertebrates, algae and invertebrates, but it only happened in the tanks that didn't have predators in them. The tanks that contained predators were more resilient. The researchers explain the results this way. They say, if you want an ecological community to be strong against disturbances, you need that community to be healthy and functioning. And natural ecosystems have predators in them. So this isn't limited to fish. The researchers argue that if you want to save any kind of habitat, predators need to be part of the plan. For ctvnews.ca, I'm Dan Riskin.